sold my first bread on uh, October 26, 1990. To me, uh, food is, is a passion. I love to cook, I love to eat. Uh, I was not there 25 years ago, but uh, it all started with a simple idea. And um, at the time, I had a small restaurant in Brussels, and I didn't like the, the quality of the bread I could find uh, on the market. So basically, the only solution was to buy an oven, uh, you know, a mixer, and do the bread myself. My approach were from a consumer because I was, you know, a guy buying bread. And when I started producing the bread, it's not like if I was a son of a baker and tried to take over uh, daddy's you know, business and make it three times bigger. To me, I wanted to, to make good bread and this, is, this was the, 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 the purpose of the business. The idea of Alain was not to, to, to do a pain quotidien like it's, like it's today. Initially it was, a, I'm baking bread. And then people went like, oh, do you have some jam? And then he, he, he put the table in the, in the store and then on a coffee machine and it, it, it went on like this. An evening I remember very good. It was nearly six o'clock in the evening. And I came in the store and he said, uh, oh, I need uh, to open a restaurant tomorrow morning in the center of Brussels, Rue d'Ansart. Then he saw a beautiful old pine Austrian table which is a little bit oval, round at the corner. When I brought the table, I, I, I had a friend architect and told me, are you crazy, uh, only, only one table in, in the store because that, that store was very small. So if you put you know, that, that big table, you had like a, the table, the chair, and it was the wall, so it was very cramped. And he, I remember he said, you know, the, the businessman and the punk and the uh, priest that are never going to sit together to, to, to eat or drink something. Well, a couple of days later, I visited the store. The idea he had for the communal table, people were around, we, people were talking with each other. So a completely different world opened for me, I must be honest. That was uh, really something new for Brussels at that time. And I think for Alain, it was the idea, OK, we're going to open one restaurant, and then we'll see what will happen. I think the, the first Saturday, we had an uh, article in a, in a local paper. And at one point, I, I saw something, Donnez-nous notre pain quotidien. That in English, you translate, give us our daily bread. And I approach and I see, this is uh, you know, an article about us. And when I arrived at the shop, there were a line of 50 people outside waiting for bread. And that, that means that by 11 o'clock at night, in the morning, we were totally sold out of bread. And so basically from like the third day was like uh, tons of people. Uh, and then I opened a second shop and then a third. Within weeks after the opening, people already started calling Alain to ask if they could also open Le Pain Quotidien stores. And only seven years later, the first Le Pain Quotidien in New York finally became reality. As you grow, I did not believe that we would be able to keep the core, uh, the essence of Le Pain Quotidien of 25 years ago, um, still today. The reason why the brand today is still there is because it's so strong by its simplicity. I don't know a country where people are not pleased to find each other around the table and share good food. I think it's about that lifestyle. I think it, it's, it's a journey back in time to um, a life that is lost. You sit at the table, you have those very simple, great little communications, discussions, um, and, and, and I think that's what Alain thought about is in the world of today, where we don't take the time anymore, where we are speeding, we go from A to B, the shortest time, we don't talk to people, we don't talk to strangers. And what we are providing um, to our guests is, is a place where they can just come and, and relax and decompress and, 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 and 
and talk to people or not talk to people in a very simple environment um, where there's honest food being served by by honest people. So I think I think there's not nothing fundamental that has changed. The, the, there's just a bigger group of people. Um, we were 20, 25 years ago. Right now, it's 7,000 people. Back then, we had two stores. Right now, we have 235 stores. But it doesn't really matter. It, it's just a group of people, great people, who believe passionately that the world would be much better off if we would take time for each other. And they just believe in that idea and they, they want to just grow the idea because they think that this idea has a positive impact on, on people's life. Who we are, we hosts, driven by our values, authenticity, simplicity, conviviality and quality. We serve good food in good places that does good to everyone, every day, in every store. Why? Because we want to create meaningful connections, one store and one neighborhood at a time. <laughs>